Hello and welcome to Loci Mania. Today we're going to speak about the three most important dehydrogenase complexes. We have three that really we really have to know. The first one, pyruvate dehydrogenase. Second one, alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase. And the third one is brand chain alpha keto acid dehydrogenase. I'm going to go through them a little bit more in specific. But first, they have five cofactors which is they have in common. The first one is thiamine pyrophosphate, lipoic acid, CoA, FADH2, and NADH. Here's a mnemonic. Tender, loving, care for Nancy. So tender, loving, care for Nancy. So it's for tender, for thiamine, loving, for lipoic, CoA, for care, and then four for FAD and NAD for Nancy. That's how you can memorize these five. Let's go to the other page. The first one is pyruvate dehydrogenase. It's a mitochondrial enzyme and it's linking glycolysis and the Krebs cycle together. The end product is acetyl-CoA from pyruvate. Activation is increased NAD, NAD plus and NADH ratio uh, increase ADP and increase calcium and this is after exercise it is inhibited by its product acetyl-CoA so pyruvate dehydrogenase is a mitochondrial enzyme linking glycolysis and the TCA cycle other word for that is Krebs cycle it's inhibited by its product acetyl-CoA the second one is alpha-ketoglutarate alpha dehydrogenase it's in the TCA cycle. It's also inhibited by its product, which is succinyl-CoA and NADH. It's activated by calcium. So as we said, the second enzyme is alpha-ketoglutate dehydrogenase. It's in the TCA cycle and activated by calcium. Here we go to the third enzyme, branched chain alpha-keto acid dehydrogenase. Just remember that it degrades BCAA, branch chain amino acids, and those three are isoleucine, leucine, and valine. BCAA is a source of energy in the brain and muscle, and the kind of reaction is oxidative decarboxylation. Thank you, and please come again.